New Jersey is a small state within the United States of America, but it's very famous for various places and people and cultural significance throughout American history and also the world. And this state boasts various attractions and locations and cities that you may or may not have visited, like the Jersey Shore, like big urban sprawls of cities around New York City and Philadelphia, and the farmlands of southern Jersey, or even the hills of northern Jersey for skiing or snowboarding. However, New Jersey has a wide variety of physiographic regions or provinces, areas of consistent landscape and relief. And this video is going to talk about all the different types of these provinces in detail, looking at where they are geographically and what makes them different from the rest and why this state of New Jersey is so fascinating for me because it's a small state yet it's very diverse both geographically and geologically. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So geographically, New Jersey is located on the eastern seaboard of the United States, bordering the Atlantic Ocean and various states in the Northeast and also called the Mid-Atlantic. So we have various geographic and landscape features that run through this Northeast of America and includes all of New Jersey. But as you see, it's kind of cut into these very distinct areas of landscapes, which connect with other states around New Jersey. So Jersey is nestled in between three states. The green is New Jersey, the red is New York, the yellow is Pennsylvania, and the pink in the bottom southeast part of the map is going to be Delaware. This is a map combining all four physiographic provinces that New Jersey has. Now these are not exclusive to the state, they extend further beyond the borders of New Jersey into the surrounding states and across the eastern seaboard of the United States. Now in total, the US, the lower 48, which is the 48 states that are connected, they're called contiguous, that don't include Hawaii or Alaska, they have around 24 different regions or provinces that are physiographic. Now this means that there are 24 different regions across the country from coast to coast that have distinctive features and are different to the surrounding area. So New Jersey has four. New Jersey has the coastal plain, which is the blue, the largest one. It has the Piedmont region, which is the pinkish color. And it has the brown, which is the highland or the New England upland area. And the yellow, which is the Appalachian Valley and Ridge province. Now these four provinces are all distinctive based on the terrains and relief that give them a unique look or landscape compared to the other ones which are adjacent to them. And this gives Jersey a very awesome landscape change over a small area. Again, this is the fourth smallest state in the whole of the country. And they have four different regions of terrains. So province one, the largest province in Jersey, which is the coastal plain, also known as the Mid-Atlantic Coastal Plain. And this derives, or the origin of this area, is an ancient ocean floor. So, and also it's very young. It didn't exist beyond around 150 million years ago. This was, prior to that, part of the breaking point or the rifting section or the birth of the Atlantic Ocean where Pangaea broke through rifting and through the Wilson cycle in different stages the coastal plain was emerged and the sea levels dropped and exposed a higher amount or more amount of land on the eastern seaboard of America which is a passive margin which is a plate boundary where there's no subduction it just gets wider and wider and wider as the ocean gets larger which is the Atlantic so this coastal plain is split into two sections as the outer towards the coastline by the Atlantic and the inner which is more towards Pennsylvania now the outer plain is younger the inner plain is older now the outer plain is more around the tertiary period which is 1.8 million years up to around 65 million years ago and the inner plain is more on the Cretaceous period which is 65 million years up to around 144 million years ago so generally a very young 
area of land and sediments and sedimentary rock compared to the other provinces that are further north. The terrain of the relief is generally flat, some rolling hills, a lot of farmland. Jersey is famous for growing grapes and some wineries and some high elevation towards the southeast of the state, but not high enough to be considered anything different than a coastal plain. And on the coastline, we do have a set or a an area of barrier islands, which is again characteristic of a passive margin and indicates how the coastline was formed tectonically. This pink region, which is directly above the coastal plain, which is a smaller area, which is called the Piedmont. Now, Piedmont is an Italian word that means the foothills. So this area is basically the foothills of the Appalachians, where the elevation starts to increase as you go further west towards the Highlands area and towards the Appalachian Mountains, which extend down through the eastern seaboard of America. And this area is characterized with a layer of sediments that are from the Triassic period, and it's called a Triassic Basin. And it originates, again, from the rifting and breaking apart of Pangaea around two million years ago, whereby the rifting caused New Jersey to split away from modern-day Africa. As the Atlantic Ocean grew and the, the, the crust and lithosphere was stretched and the tensional forces applied as the two continents were moving apart, and the crust was getting thinner, you have layers and flows of basaltic lava coming out, which is forming the Rift Basin and part of the Half Graben on the western side, and forming this section of this Piedmont region, which is generally going to have some rolling hills, some higher elevations, some ridge and some valleys, some anticlines and synclines, and going to get some smaller hills or small mountains towards the north but generally going to have these rolling hills and on its way up to the high elevations and the Appalachian Mountains to the west. This next province is called the Highland Province and this physiographic area is smaller than the Piedmont and it is part of the northern Appalachian Highland chain and it also is the southern part of the New England upland, which extends up into Maine. So this higher elevation, rugged, more mountainous area than the previous Piedmont, or definitely the coastal plain, this higher elevation area has a lot of rolling hills and valleys, steep sloped valleys and mountains. So in terms of mountainous regions, you can't really say that because compared to the states like Nevada and Colorado and New Mexico and Alaska, you know, when you say mountains in New Jersey, they kind of laugh because they're too small. But in terms of the, the adjacent areas, it is a much higher elevation and more rugged and more distinctly mountainous, quote unquote, than the other provinces in New Jersey. So this area is a lot older. This is around 1.1 billion years ago. It is Precambrian compared to the Cambrian sediments of the Triassic and obviously the very young coastal plain sediments and sedimentary rock. Also, the highland geology is more metamorphic. Some sedimentary, some igneous, but a lot more metamorphic, which is indicating the formation, how it was formed, and obviously when it was formed. This was formed during the Rodinia supercontinent, where this was between 1.2 to 1.3 billion years ago and this part of New Jersey at that time in geologic history was squeezed again next to an ancient version of Africa and Europe and again the folding created these mountainous areas which again formed the metamorphic rocks with heat and pressure. So this area is very contrasting and different to the others smaller in area than the Piedmont, but still very different and amazing in its own right in terms of the geology and the formation. And last but not least, we have the Appalachian Valley and Ridge province. Now this physiographic region or province or area is known for or characteristic for having rolling hills and folded anticlines and synclines and is at a higher elevation than the Piedmont, is behind the highlands and it's kind of bordering New York and Pennsylvania to the north and to the west. 
and it's a much smaller area. Now this extends into Pennsylvania, further, and in New York, up into the Adirondacks and the Catskills. But this area just kind of skirts by New Jersey and has a lot of valleys, some streams, rivers running through it, like the Delaware, which is the natural border for New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And this area is characteristic of sediments and sedimentary rock that are around 370 to 470 million years ago. So a little bit older than the Piedmont region and a little bit half the age of the Highlands rock. And again, these are mostly sedimentary. Now the valley and ridge denote the valley being the lower part, which is going to be the syncline, and the ridge would be the anticline. Now this is based on the weather and erosion rates of the two areas. Now the ridge is going to be more withstanding and more resistant, and this is mostly made up of sandstone and chert. Now the valley is more susceptible to weather and erosion, and that is mostly going to be shale and limestone. Now we know limestone is a calcium carbonate and very susceptible to erosion and weathering through rainfall and the carbonic acid formed through the soil and the rain. So these valleys are dug deeper over time and the ridges remain, but the ridges are still gonna erode and weather, but a slower rate than the valleys are. So you still have this change in elevation and the creation of this type of relief and terrain, which is characteristic of the valley and ridge province. So as a summary, you have these four distinctive physiographic provinces in a small state of New Jersey, which is famous for most other things, except for geology and tectonics and the formation of this amazing part of the Eastern Seaboard of America. And these small area states don't usually have a vast range of topography and terrain and landscapes. New Jersey does. You might see this in other states that are larger across the country, but New Jersey is kind of unique in the fact that it has these four provinces all there and able to witness over a small distance or change in distance. And the coastal plain obviously is the most largest in land area and covers most of the state. And the mountainous regions to the north are smaller in size, but have distinctive characteristics that make them stand out against the adjacent provinces. And of course, you have the Triassic Rift Basin or the Newark Basin, which is also unique because it's the largest basin of that formation type in the eastern seaboard and is a place of where Pangaea split and kind of created all these natural features on the surface and the bedrock, which is indicative of a rifting cycle creating the Atlantic Ocean, splitting Africa and Europe and North America and creating this continental drift and the current locations of the continents and how this ocean grew over millions of years and where it began and what it created on the, the surface of New Jersey as a result of this rifting. Pretty awesome stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.